Draven. Oh, Fnatic's blue side. What the hell? Vi, Rek'Sai ban. Draven, Kalista ban. Uh, first pick is here. First pick is here. Marek Bresda. Marek Bresda is here. First pick or what? Rel ban. Ooh, Rumble first pick. Is that a flex? Is that a flex? Hansama. Chat, is Hansama very good or not? Why do I feel like they're going to play Lucian Nami? I feel like they're going to play Lucian Nami. They're probably going to play Talia as well. Caps Talia yesterday was crazy good. Yeah, Hans Zeri is very bad. Yeah, Hansama Zeri and Aphelios. Kind of mid. I don't need to see their two pick here because what they could do is Lucian Nami to cover off. They could do Lucian Maokai. They could do Lucian Talia. Yeah, Lucian Volibear, I guess. The same is jungle. It is whatever. Now, the thing is, the Fnatic's comp is weird because Vi is banned and so is Rel. So are they, what are they going to play with Rumble? Right? You could play something like Tristana, but then you're dropping Bolt and Varus is open and you kind of need Varus. So they have two options. They could do something like Maokai Tristana, or they could do something like Varus Ash. Okay, there's Ash. They can't play Jarvan into Lucian chat. You're crazy. Wait, they're going to not pick Varus. Yeah, they're going to pick mid. Yeah, Orianna. Okay, they're flexing the Rumble. They're going to play Ash. They might play Ash Rumble bot. Yeah, it makes sense, actually. Of course, they're going to keep the, the Rumble flex. They're not going to play full topside on 2-3. But I do think G2, if they ban Varus, then Rumble has to go bot. Nah, he can't play Jarvan into that. Can he play Jarvan into that? No way, no way right there. Have I infected Fnatic to play... Uh, like rumble support? Yo, if, 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 if Yun can play, if Jun can play rumble support, I'm, I'm, I'm here for it. I think Fnatic just need to look to ban mids. I think Talia Nico, really good bans against Caps here on 4. Put him on Hue, and then you can play Jarvan on 4 or 5. Really good. Nice, Nico, now Talia ban. Now Talia ban. Ari? Nah, Ari, I think Ari with their comp is trash. I don't know why, I don't like Ari with their comp. I don't like it. Lucian Volibear Ari? Maybe Azir ban, you're right, but... I think, I think taking away Talia is better. I think getting away with playmaking is better. Caps runs the map on Talia. TF ban. Ooh, I think they ban TF because of this Jax ban. They probably want to pick TF on 4, maybe. I think Caps is going to play Talia. And then what do we play on 4 or 5? Renekton? Ah, uh, Jarvan's bad. What do we play jungle? Uh, I think they will play Jarvan, but I don't think it's that good. Oh, Red on Soul. I think Renekton Sedge. Oh, I hate Wellington Maybe Sedge. I don't know what they pick uh, here. No, I don't think Jarvan's that good. I don't think Jarvan's that good. I trust me. I, I don't like it. I don't like it. Please don't pick it. Zinzao. Oh, I don't know if I like Zinzao either. But I get it. I get it. Sinzao's okay. I don't like Jarvan. I hate it. But what is he playing top if Rumble's going bot? He has to play Renekton, right? Because I think if you blind Aatrox first time, he's going to go Yone on 5. So I think Renekton blind may be better. Aatrox blind. So they must be last picking Yone, right? Ash Rumble bot. Ash Rumble must be good into Lucian Nami. Like the poke you have is insane. The problem is... So the way Ash Rumble works is the Ash actually builds lethality. I saw Deft and Beryl play Ash Rumble. And Ash goes lethality, so your damage is actually a bit hit. Yeah. I'm surprised they went Renekton on 5. Yes, Wasn't Caps already on solo OTP? Yeah, he was. I, mean, it was I played against his already on solo in Challenger Reddit series. It was disgusting. The nerfs, the buffs, the, the, you got a pentakill against me. Happened. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Uh, Alright, so Rumble Ash has a lot of poke. Halo Blades, Comet. Razor needs to be around bot. Top matchups in favor of Renekton. Mid matchup, I don't know who pushes. I'm guessing, or, I don't know, it's contested. But Orianna outranges a bit. Come on, Fnatic. Don't let me down. We're due a win. We're due a win. It's been fucking years. It's been years, bro. Come on, man. Fnatic, pathing bot. I just want camera bot. That's all I want, observers. Bitishin. I need to see Jun using his E. I need his E's to hit. Oh my god, already on soul level 1 is so disgusting. Razork doing Raptor's blue Grom covering off if Sindar do 3 camps into bot to invade. So, uh, yikes, sorry. He's doing Raptor's uh, blue Grom because what Razork could have done is Raptor's uh, red Krugs and invaded him if he full clear top to bot. And if they have bot push with Rumble Ash, they could have invaded him. So Yike's doing a pathing yeah, to cover that off. Yeah, Caps is trading like a fucking psychopath. So you can see the ping there from Razork. He's saying he's probably on red buff right now because Razork just finished his second camp. He's probably finishing red or some shit. Maybe did like Raptor's Krogs red. You see the pings there? So Razork smartly is full clearing down. They'll see him now. They'll see that he started, he's done his bot camps. And that means that he would have wasted his time if he did this because his, caps would have, his camps would have been gone. So it's better to full clear down because now the Volibear has to backtrack up and now there might be a bot dive available. As long as Oscar doesn't take bad trades. So Razork's going to get bot crab. And this is where a bot dive would be available. Looks like G2 bot lane is not trading that much though. No one's really trading that much apart from mid lane. He's not getting that base off. He's going to cancel his base. Oh, they're letting the wave bounce into them, so Yike needs to base. He can't do top crab here, Yike. 
and he I won't be able to go to his Raptor respawn because bots way. pushing out and G2 bot lane said we need cover now and Razork might run through lane, Yike might meet him, there's probably a bot 3v3 of which I think G2 will win if they hit the right bubble or Fnatic can win if they overstep because there's definitely a fight here because Fnatic want to stop the crash and G2 want to... or there might just be a counter gank actually. So Yike's based, so Razork has to run away. Yeah, G2 wins. The rumble is mega strong, but... That rum... that... that... oh my god! Now Fnatic bot can get dove. So Razork might have to stay, I don't know. He's gonna eat the bush. Yeah, so Yike just eat the bush that Razork was recalling in, so he cancelled him again. That's a huge wave and they're even on CS. He's doing a great job in terms of the 1v1. Humanoid nice. winning out on these uh, trades though. Caps goes again. Wait Caps out of mana. Wait for the breath of light. Humanoid might oh, Merrick fucking Bresna. That's huge. Caps was First playing so cocky there. He was Fnatic playing so cocky. Nice punish by Humanoid. That is huge for the game state. Because a lot of the damage needs to come from top side in this draft. Because Ash is lethality, I think. Man, Caps was playing so cocky there. I didn't even I thought Caps was winning that for some reason. I thought maybe his passive was just too strong. But Humanoid just stood there and tanked it. Now it's gonna get a bit harder for Caps because the range is crazy on Orianna now. It's really hard for him to get in range. Team is shockwave him here if he wants. And they're respecting it. Humanoid shockwave. Yeah. Oh, it's big damage as well. I mean, Caps, the sky is going to fall, but Humanoid... Oh, the my way, God. Marek! Marek! Yeah, you're playing so cocky as well! He's not respecting jungle at all. I mean, I saw it too, but he doesn't get the kill there. He just chunks him like fuck, and he has no TP. Nah, that's crazy. How is the Aurelion and Orianna matchup the, the most volatile matchup in the game? When there's Renekton and Aatrox, Lucian, Nami, Rumble, Ash. A bit of trading between the bot lane is nice damage from Hans. Even the burn. Wait, Jun can kill him. Jun can kill him. He flashes out of the way. He's overheated. Oh, he big 2v2 kill by Fnatic. Oh, he leveled up. You have W, Jun? No, he doesn't. No flash on Volibear. Oh, no, a movement. Humanoid's coming. No, they're going to get away with it. They're going to get away with it. Dodge it. Oh, my God. He eat out of the way. Jesus, man. Razork. Holy Summer. fuck, these fights are wild. Sort of that was a lot of skill expression there. So Fennec all in bot. I'm surprised Jun didn't flash earlier. I wonder if Han Sama didn't know about rumble damage, because look at Jun. Thought Hans would flash way earlier, but he gets an extra auto in. And then watch Jun levels up. No, his movement was good here. Cleanse was insanely good. He, QS he cleansed that instantly. Then he backsteps the Nami bubble. But yeah, he's maxing his damage. I don't think he can play it better. And then Razork has to E out of Volibear E, otherwise he dies. If he kept walking, if he walked back and dodged it, he would have tanked the wave too much and probably died to the wave. Oh, Yak 6. Razork isn't 6. Yeah, Razork's dead. Yike is not taking any damage from Maybe they can trade onto Mickey. On nah, he's just Mickey baiting his team to die. Yeah, Jun dies for free now. Noah dies for free. Yeah, it was completely in Terrazor. Oh my god. He got caught and then he tried to fight. Look at how close he is to 6. He's so... he's 1 XP from 6. That's so unlucky. So unlucky. I'm not Razork's lawyer, shut up. Bubble Just connects. have to give. Uh, Flashing away they have the culling as well. And Marek's dead. Oh my back. god, man. What is happening in mid? Nami just walked in and ulted and it hit because of the Orion solo ult. Wait, this, the the lethality, this Ash is not going lethality. Okay, that helps a bit, but I don't know if it does that much damage. They're gonna go dive top or what? Marek just said go dive top now. But then Bot gets dove. Oh my god, yeah, it's a horror. Why are they going into a replay? Bot lane's about to die. Oh, he didn't ult the tower. Look at the rumble damage, what the fuck? Did you see that rumble damage? Yeah, humanoid lost. I mean, not humanoid. Noah lost creeps for this dive. Because humanoid catches bot anyway, right? Drake's in four. No one's done grubbies. Run uh, Renekton has no ult, so I mean, Aatrox in free trade, really easy. There's a TP ward behind the Lucian, but Aatrox doesn't. It's gonna expire. Caps has TP advantage as well. Caps has TP advantage. Broken with has TP event. Well, not TP advantage, but they have double TP. Surprise, Hans didn't call him there. Dragon has been secured. Oh, shockwave. He can eat it, no? Uh, uh, or like fly out of it. W, gobble, sorry. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Mm, I mean, there's no Drake, so it's fine to ult and poke him. It'll get caps as TP, which frees up bot. So Humanoid forces out already on soul TP with that ult. Not bad. Oxfer is actually doing pretty well in this lane. 
So a much bigger role for Caps who... Oscar's actually doing really well on Spain. I have to remind myself... 300 gold up. This matchup can get a bit tricky. It's 75 Stardust called the next one to transform. Into the skies to send. Dominus in the meantime, why. though. That's why. Renekin can do so much this. damage. Oh, Don't he got his flash. From. That does surprise me. Broken Blade... Yeah, he's they getting dove, though. There, but here comes Caps. Here comes Caps. Okay. Caps diff. Astral Flight comes through and remember that ult there. Will he need it? Maybe oh, the flash was terrible. Why did BB flash? BB flashed because otherwise if he didn't flash he would get chunked out way too much so that Aatrox can hold the wave so Arena Soul can't dive him. But because he's healthy enough, Renekin can fight him out to make it the wave crash so he can dive. They're gonna get Herald from that. Oh, I, I think this game state's getting really hard for Fnatic. Aurelion Soul is just gonna outrange everyone by just pressing his fucking skies to send R upgraded. And uh, yeah, Ash Rumble is not really gonna be that useful, I think. Keeping my eyes on the like, map, I they see didn't. Caps oh my god, bots. Caps is just running bot now, or what? Let the sky fall and it crumbles, and Jun's just getting They're gonna kill him, though. Good, Not Caps bad. No one gets the big shutdown. Shockwave brings Broken Blade back in as well. As Not bad. Nice TP from Humanoid. Man, Humanoid's TP is keeping Fnatic in this game, but they're gonna lose so much mid push for this. They're losing so much in mid for this. I mean, the Ash getting gold is nice, but. Oi, 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 oi. I don't know if this. Maybe it's good. Maybe. Do you think you think Ash has uptime this game, chat? Maybe she does actually. And they get both side towers. Yeah, okay. I think Ash does have a bit of uptime this game. The problem she has to deal with is mid waves, right? They have culling. And Namiel, so Ash has to be... Sometimes. The problem is, Ash doesn't have Ghost, right? That's why I don't think Ash has that much uptime. If she had Ghost, I think she'd be fine. But she has Cleanse, so it's hard to kite a bit here. We're just starting Drake. Yeah, I mean, Oscar can get there same time as BB. And Aurelion doesn't have upgraded ult. Need to go through bot here. Nice. Okay, here comes the first big fight. No one has big smite favor. I mean, Razork has W smite, but Oscar might get one shot if he goes in here. He needs to be careful. He's fighting BB. Here comes a W smite from Razork. Oh, he went in. Oh, he got the dragon as well. He's gonna die though, maybe. Oh, Sunrise Sky saved him. Rumble ult's not bad, but it doesn't hit anyone. If the positioning was good to split them up though. Yeah, Oscar's gonna die. Yeah, Oscar is just extending the fight too much. Oh, Marek had an insane shockwave there, but he fucked it. He could have shockwaved the Nami and the Lucian. This is where Ash struggles here. Midwaves, really hard for Ash against this champs. G2 have a lot of kills, but the game's still not over. They haven't broken it. And here come the cope spams. They're not hitting that tower in any world, in any universe. If they overstep, they have Volley Bear Flash, they have Nami ult, they have Culling. Like, someone's getting one shot, especially Ash, no flash. What is Oscar? Oh, he's letting the tower die so Renekton doesn't get the local gold. Oh, he made him lose some gold. How much gold is that, chat? 50, 100, 150? What is it? I can't remember what local gold is. 150, isn't it? Pretty smart to let the tower die to minions. Very humble line. Mickey oh, Mickey has flash. Oh, no cleanse up, no cleanse. He cleanse but he doesn't pop it. He doesn't pop it. Han Sama didn't want to cleanse. He flashes in the end. Wow. Ash has uptime. Ash has uptime. Ash has uptime. Ash can hit. But Humanoid got one shot without using anything. Yeah, Caps can fry here. Oh, Caps is kind of hinting, maybe. Oh, no, I can't move. No, I need to 1v3 somehow. I can't. Oh, if Humanoid had any impact in that fight, he'd win. Wow, that was a really close fight, though. It was kind of like Lucian was out of the fight, but Rumble Oriana were also kind of out of the fight. So two fights happen. Rasor goes on Hans, Yike goes on Jun and Humanoid. Humanoid gets chain CC'd and dies, and Hans Sama's out. So it's basically a one carries each out. Yike's basically dead, but so is Jun. So it's basically like a 3v3. Hansama doesn't really do anything. He culls a bit of Aatrox, but that's all he can really do at the back. He's basically out of the fight. The 3v3 was... Uh, I mean, this Caps just goes in, doesn't he? Nice bubble by Mickey. He insta-cleanses it there. And then BB and Mickey just clean. Mickey smurfed with his ult. Oh, Yike has ult, no flash, though. They're committing on to... Humanoid has Zonya. That's a bad Zonyas though. That's gonna allow Bibi to get on top of him. Razork gets the already on soul. Jun's gonna die. Razork's gonna die. G2 favorite fight. Man, this game is scrappy. And G2's comp is so good at scrapping Lucian Nami, Volley Bear, they just want to fight. This Rumble support is doing nothing. This is a great series. Great series so far. Really fun. Actual good game.
Yeah, Rumble Let's didn't have ult for that now. fight, but even if he did, I don't know what he's ulting, Kurt. Alright, Dragon yeah. fight. Yeah. This is a position where I think Fnatic can just avoid the fight, but they're gonna fight it, because, like, once the int train starts, it doesn't stop. Can we fight? Can we fight? Can we fight? Lucian, no flash, already no flash, we can fight this, can we fight this? I mean, it's true, Lucian already on no flash, so G2 have to be a bit careful, but they have the upgraded already on Sol ult. And Renek from level 14 with three items almost, so I'm a bit scared for Fnatic if they fight this. Let's see how much the Aatrox can do. Hasn't been spotted. He has been spotted for the sweeper. He's griefing. Completely into it. Completely into it there, Oscar. Oh, the game's over. G2 just wiped him. He spotted him with the sweeper. Absolute wipe from G2. Caps is already on Soul is nasty. He plays frontline already on Soul. He just perma dashes on, to, on top of people. Like, I don't know what Oscar's doing here. They have river position. What is he trying to flank? He's on top of them. Mickey Ult was really good on the follow-up. Look at Caps, though. Fucking hell. He just full sends frontline already on Soul. Caps was watching Yappa. He thought, damn. He's making that champ look busted. Yo, we gotta get inspiration from the better regions, chat. Yo, everyone is using the word merchant nowadays. It's crazy. Oh my god, here comes frontline already on Soul again. Oh my god, slam dunk. Caps is laughing. BB's maybe dead here, though. I don't know what BB's doing. He's creating space, I guess. Oh, he's alive. Whoa. Absolute stomp. 25 minute game. G2 just destroyed them. Humanoid got a solo kill. They got a 2v2 kill bot, and that's it. G2 just murdered them in fights. Really fun game, though. I like the pace of the game. A lot of fighting. More of that, more of that. I think Fnatic needs red side maybe against G2. Everyone got gapped this game. It was a five man roll gap. Also, I don't think that Rumble support is what. It, that Rumble support ain't it. That Rumble support ain't it. Ooh, Fnatic chose red. Hell yeah. I think Fnatic chose should go red side. I mean, they have to ban Draven and Kalista again, probably. They have to ban Draven and Kalista for sure. Do they ban Nautilus as well last? I don't think they should ban Nautilus. What do you ban last? Rel? Okay. Hmm, I think Zeri 1-2 here is really good for Fnatic now. They're gonna first pick Volibear. Ui, ui, ui. I don't think that is actually that good for G2. I think Zeri 1-2 is great. Zeri what though? Zeri Maokai is kind of nice, but I don't know if it's good here. Could do Zeri Azir. I think Zeri Azir, Zeri Maokai, Zeri Jax, Flex Jax on red side 1-2. I'm surprised Rumble's banned though. Maybe Fnatic red side rumble flex is even stronger. The worry I have is what do you do if they pick full top side? Like if they go Volley Bear, Azir, Rek'Sai. What do you do against that? Because you pick AD jungle, right? If they do triple top side, it's a good answer to AD jungle because it forces you to choose one. And it's top or mid. Yeah, they did it. What do you do? You have to pick Nar, I guess, right? You have to go Nar. Corky. Okay. I actually don't mind Corky. I actually don't mind that pick there. I don't think it's that bad of a pick. You keep Jack's flex open, you pick mid instead of top, and then that means that they have to ban supports, kind of, right? That means you can target AD, so you can ban Lucian, I think, for sure, is a good ban. If they're playing a lot of Lucian Nami. Uh, what else does Hansama play? Jinx, maybe? No. Kog'Maw, yeah. Kog'Maw ban's good. Uh, I guess they're banning Kog'Maw. Them banning Kog'Maw makes me think they're four-picking support. They're probably gonna ban two supports here, because they have Jack's flex, so they could ban, like, Nautilus Renata. There's Renata. Now, they could ban Braum here, if they want want last to force a Nautilus ban and then pick Rakan on 4, or they could just ban Lucian. Do they support counter? They must support counter, right? So, they should maybe just leave everything up. So what does G2 ban here? If they're gonna blind support on 4, it could be Nautilus, but they have Braum into it. They could play Estreal Braum or something. Kai'Sa is up for Kai'Sa Nort. So maybe they have to take Nautilus away, which means... Do you ban Nautilus to stop the denial, or do you ban something else that can counter the Nautilus? But if you ban Braum, they take it. Actually, what am I saying? They're gonna last pick support. I just said myself they're last pick support. They're gonna pick top here anyway. They ban Blitz. Uh, what top laner do you want into the Rek'Sai? Olaf into Rek'Sai, is it good? Alright, what are they doing? They've got... What options they have? They have Kai'Sa Nort, Zaya Rakan, they have Jinx Tam, they have Aphelios Thresh, Jinx Tam. Uh, they can't... Blinding Tam is hard because they can last pick Lulu. Oh, Jinx Thresh! I think that's a slam Nautilus though. Slam Nautilus into Thresh any day. Alright, I think draft's pretty even. Draft's pretty even. This could be 1-1, one, one, unironically. I think that... Uh, Fnatic's carries are really powerful. Corky Zeri. 
against Rex High Volley Bear. They have got good go good mobility to escape, right? But the enemy team has a zero jinx, I guess. Oi, oi, oi. Actually, this game is... This game is a fucking psycho game. If Olaf gets ahead, I think G2 struggle, though. Because Olaf can run this motherfucker down real hard. They have Lantern to avoid it, though. It was a really good thresh pick, the Lantern out of this shit. Oh, this this is gonna be a great game, actually. This draft, these drafts are really fun. Two mega scaling ADs, two mega scaling mids, but the top side is fucking fisting session. They ward Raptors to check Volley Bear path. So sometimes with these wards, you can play with them. So what the guy can do is red Krux. He can go to Raptors, hit the Raptors here. What what you can do is you can play with their vision. I've seen this lot from jungle. So what the guy can do is red Krux. He can run to Raptors, do Raptors on the ward, go back up here, wrap around, and then gank mid like this when the ward expires because of the timing, and then Porky dies. So you can use wards to enemy advantage, uh, disadvantage. So that's why it's very dangerous to ward Raptors, and they see it because you can play around it really easy. So I think a really good pathing here is Volley Bear goes to Raptors, shows on Raptors, does Raptors, wraps around and kills mid. It would be a really good level 3 pathing from Yike. Where is he going? Is he going top? Oscar, 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 Oscar. Oscar. Oh my god, Yike just ran straight top. He's dead. Wow. Oh! Razor could get top crab. Wave should crash pretty easily. Razor can help him if he wants, but yeah, he's fine here, Oscar. They can't dive this guy, can they? Unless he takes way more bad trades. Oh, he's gonna go for it or what? Oh, maybe it's diveable actually. Oh my god, he backstepped. He backstepped with stun up. Oh no, Razor. Yeah, this early game's already over. This early game is already done so. And now Razor's losing his bot camps. He has no flash. He needs to be careful of Mickey. Oh, they're just fighting this. Oh, he's just he's tilted, I think. Or? Oh my god, Jun missed flash hook or what? Oh, this is embarrassing. This is disgusting by Fnatic. That was like mega tilt by Razorg. Jesus! I didn't see Nautilus hook. Oh, he's actually spacing him so hard. Oscar's getting fucking spaced a bit. If Oscar gets 6, I think he can beat him. But he looks like he's so far away from 6. Oh, he missed the X. Oh, he's, he's close, yeah. He needs 1 minion. Yeah, Rex, I was thinking the full wave there. Oscar gets 6 now. Oh, he's so close to 6. He needs to get 6 now and fight him. Dude, he's dead. Big solo kill. Yike will have to flash here. Okay, not bad by Oscar. I mean, he has Vamp Scepter. I don't know what BB's doing. Kind of anything there. He should have known that 6 was coming. Oscar wins at 6. Big kill for him. But BB can TP back, so it's not the end of the world for BB. That wave might not crash. Oh, Yike no flash. He has to kite them here, Oscar. He has flash up. Nice kill. He gets triumph as well. Does he just hit him? BB has no ult. Okay, they turned it around. So this volatile top side, the G2 one early, has just been thrown away. Fnatic are back. Looks like Noah popped the ult or what? Noah ulted bot. Did they get Mickey's flash? Or did Mickey already flash earlier? I mean, mid has cult here. Mid is scaling super hard. Oscar went for the long swords boots. Tunnel system for plates. This will make the gold even in top. Yeah, yeah, 16 right now. Oh, Mickey no flash. He's kind of up, but Yikes taking the blue. Razork's fighting BB. Yeah, they need to push top here, Fnatic. BB has spree free time to roam. Okay, so Fnatic have stabilized the game. There's no dragon for two minutes. G2 are trying to take camps. They're getting a bit greedy, though, because Razork's back down towards the bot side. Oscar wasn't fast pushing. I wonder if BB needs Bramble Vest against Olaf. Uh, it looks like Olaf can just lifesteal through BB's damage. Like, really easily. I think that Rek'Sai needs Bramble Vest. Razork has flash. Oh, they're flashing on caps. A bit too deep. Oh my god, Jun's just in there. I mean, Noah, sorry. Noah? What, 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 are the, what is Fnatic doing? What is going on? They're playing like fucking like... C champion, flash on champion. Like, what are they doing? They're like, Jun misses hook, flash autos, caps, caps, flashes, then what? Everyone just stands there like donkeys and dies? Now what? They flash out, now what? Razork's already running. 
Noah is just full centered in the back line. He puts himself on the front line. Missed his like is to kill a lot of cues. He keeps missing the cues. Oh he my god, this was disgusting. Like well played by B by G2, but what the hell is Fnatic doing? That Jinx is really accelerated. 700 gold lead on Jinx. That volley bear is sundered sky. Lucidity boots 10 minutes. Jesus. Drake up in 9. G2 should get that pretty free. No as bot push. I mean, they probably have package, but I'm guessing they're not going to use package until Herald. They need static shiv on Zeri. Plus 18 gold there. Easy clap. That's business right there. That's business. Did, did Humanoid save package still? Oscar's all in top, but Rek'Sai has tunnels. They lost ults, both of them. No Krugs are up. He needs to lifesteal though, Oscar. Oscar is maybe dead here. He's got a lot of lifesteal. Oh, they called for Jinx ult. That was actually kind of smart by G2. Rocket and then try and bait by Rek'Sai being a bit too far forwards. Humanoid can TP, but... Oh, he survives with W. Marek's TPing. They can probably get Yike here. They need to give this kill to Corky. Alright. Now they need to somehow protect Pot. That's a big kill for Fnatic. I feel like they're bo both teams are just making silly mistakes overreaching. Oh, they're going to go for Rek'Sai here. Yeah, Rek'Sai's dead. Another kill for Humanoids. Wow, the Corky's getting a lot of gold now. But the problem is the Jinx is the problem. And they're dropping Min and Bot here, so Fnatic are bleeding plates. Humanoid will also finish Cull here. So the Corky just got a shit ton of gold. But they did lose a mid tier 1 and bot tier 1 is basically dead. Can Han Sama carry? What do they have on the cross map? A tower? They losing bot tier 2? No way. Yeah, scaling is quite similar. I mean, uh, Corky has two items, which is huge, but yeah, this Jinx is a way too strong right now. There's three outers gone. Fnatic can not really answer. Herald isn't down yet. When is... Is Corky going to get packaged now? Maybe they get BB. It's one for one. Picks up the kill again, but Caps just bought full Rabidons? Really? Mickey's dead here, maybe. Mickey kind of trolled, but so did... Oh, what? No, I escaped that? Oscar can't really join this fight. Yeah, this Drake's gone. It's soul point for G2, but Humanoid has TP and package, actually. Maybe it's fightable. There's a ward behind them, too. Caps has no ult, so they can just cross across. Caps is gonna die. Surely they get one right. No way are they both getting out. That's cr yeah, it's dead actually. Caps is just smoking them. Caps just rolled them. Really well played by Caps and Hans. Now Razork's dead as well. He can try and buy time, but he is screwed. Wow. Crazy that the Corky didn't get a package kill there. They're going to lose bots here too as well. Yeah, G2 is probably going to win this game. Their carries are way too strong. They both lost Flash. So basically what's going to happen now is Fnatic's going to say... Nautilus has flash, Olaf has flash, G2 carries have no flash, go force a fight in the next five minutes or open. That's that's the call, I'm not even kidding. Man, G2 full sent that. I mean, it makes sense, right? Because BB's playing with TP, so they're just going to TP in and force a fight on a 5v4. Oscar can never really join with, with, uh, with Olaf. So Oscar can finally join. They won for one support, so G2's wasting a bit of time here, but it's whatever. I think Noah's really lucky not to get pushed there by Caps. They should get Herald in time here, G2. And then G2 can easily Herald mid for the next Dragon fight if they want, or Herald top tier 2. Yeah, Olaf is really useless. I mean, maybe Olaf can, like, run in. I mean, here you go, G Fnatic's just gonna fight because they have no flashes, but they just use our flash on Mortalus to kill a Thresh, so... I mean, they're, they're, that was basically all of Fnatic's, um, all of Fnatic's pace. How does Fnatic win? Mm, really hard. I think the problem is the carries are similar states, but um, G2's got way more frontline. This Herald feels a bit useless. Maybe they can get a tier 3. I mean, I think Fnatic should just fight them. They're giving up so much. G2 just overgrouped, what, uh, like outgrouped them or what? Here comes the fight. There goes Razork, insta dead, reset for Jinx, murders Olaf, Olaf's useless. Yeah, GG. It's a 20 minute win. 
Oh, oh Humanoid Flash is up in like five seconds. I mean, G2 run this region, don't they? G2 run this region. That wasn't even close, that series. Like, kills-wise, sure, but G2 never lost control this game. Absolute stomp. 20 minutes win. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, oh man, top jungle. Oh my god. I feel like Fnatic just runs in non-stop and fights everything. G2 was just kind of running circles around the one every fight.